What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mode. Today we finish off our Skaven Slave. As you can see, I do all the chipping and um, add a little bit of basing, some, some flock, and gave the guy a little sleepless in Seattle baggy eyelids. So the colors that I use for this are really simply Siltec Green followed by Temple Guard Blue for the eyes. Um, and chainmail for where did my chainmail go? There we go. Chainmail for all the metal chipping. I believe that's it. Did I do anything else? No, that was that was really it. You add in the basing, and you have a Skaven slave ready to go. Oh no, I I did paint little dots on his eyes with Averland Sunset, and as you can see, it really gives the eyes a lot more focus. Um, makes it look like the the guy is really looking forward. So. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, Skaven Slave Part 2, and we're going to start with the metal. I'm going to use chainmail since I've got a whole bunch of it still left, but if you want to use whatever the equivalent is in the new range, I think it's one step down from Runefang Steel. Runefang Steel seems to me to be the brightest, and it's uh, very, very much like um, mithril silver in the old range but all, all you're doing is really trying to line underneath the the orange and we're just doing some very random random nicks along the along the metal bands and this is just to show that um, the metal is rusted and corroded and these are like chips in the metal. Newer chips that have been scraped into the metal. Don't forget the little band on the poor little rat's tail over there. And of course his collar, his metal collar. can be as random and as haphazard as you want. And finally we're gonna edge the knife a little bit. If you guys are using a spear then same same techniques, I forgot to mention that in the last video. Same techniques is uh, are perfectly fine for both the spear and like a hand weapon. Adding a little bit of nicks and slashes in the paint. So you get something like that effect. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint some little sleep lines under guys eyes and we're gonna use Siltec green for this <laughs> and you're just gonna paint a little line right under your Skaven Slave's eyes A little bit of guy liner. You don't have too much. I think I did a little bit too much on the left side here. But um, you want it to look a little bit like more like here on the right side, if you can see that. That is that is what you want. Okay. So um, if you make a mistake, just go back and fix it up with some Cadian flesh tone. And it should look good. Okay, so once that Sotec Green has had a little second or two to dry, we're going to just bring it up a little, little bit with Temple Guard Blue. So 
this creates a look of sleeplessness and um, gives it a little bit of a bump in the color since all of the colors so far are really dark browns, oranges, and um, you know, autumn tones, I guess you would call them. Okay, we're gonna give our guy now a little bit of flash of color in his eyes. We're gonna use Averland Sunset for that. So he's got little beady red eyes, but they're gonna have like a little yellow center on each one. What this does is it gives your little Skaven like a little pupil. So as you can see, now you can really tell that he's looking forward. And it makes him look a lot sh more shifty-eyed too. So that's really good. Um, is that it, I believe? That is it. So I'm gonna base this guy now and we'll come back and yeah, he'll be done. Short video, but really fun. All right, and there you have it, Playas and playettes, our little Skaven clan rat, or slave, is ready to be ordered around by his nefarious masters to rush forward and die for the great Skaven cause. And um, I had a lot of fun painting this guy. Don't know if I would have as much fun if I had to go through a hundred of them, but for all of you Skaven players out there, this is no new thing. Hordes and hordes of little Skaven clan rats and slaves. Um, stay tuned for more, and um, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.